this Jordan, thou and all these people unto the land which I do give them. God have promised us better than this. I'm going to say that again. God have promised us better than this. It looked like that we're in Egypt, in bondage, being held up. Looks like everything has just gone. The land which I have given thee, even the children of Israel. Every place, this is what God had, that God had gave the instructions of Joshua. Every place that your soul of your feet shall tread upon that I have given unto you. And I said, uh, as I said unto Moses, start moving forward. Somebody holler out, start moving your feet forward. Tell somebody in your house, say, honey, Jumba, Sally, start moving your feet forward. Hey, just get up and start moving around. Hey, I don't care if it's from one room to the next room, upstairs, downstairs, get up and start moving. I don't want to stay stuck. I don't want to stay stuck going around and around in circles and not moving and not going anywhere. I'm going to skip down to that ninth, ninth verse that says, Have not I commanded thee? Have not I charged thee? Have not I told thee? How many times does God have to speak to us before we're going to get up and do something? How many times does mom and daddy tell you, say, okay, now I'm warning you. I done told you to get up and do this. Here come, it's going to be some repercussions after this. Get up and move. Said, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God, for the Lord thy God is with you, with thee wheresoever. We back in the day we said, whatsoever. Wheresoever thou goest, I am with you. You're not by yourself. Tell somebody you're not by yourself. You're not by yourself. Start moving forward. You can start moving. You might not start out fast, but start moving. When you, anybody know anything about driving a truck, it does not start out. It's got several gears off in your truck. When I used to off in the truck, but dad, I had to start off in first gear because of the load that I was carrying. Then it would shift to the second gear after the RPMs got up. It would start moving a little faster. Then to the third and the fourth and the fifth gear. When that baby got off in fifth gear, it just took off. You might be walking slow now, but God told me, get ready to take off. Get ready to take off. He said, tell them to stop moving your feet forward. And if they ask why, tell them that God told me to do it. God gave me an assignment to do it. God didn't bring us this far to leave us now. We're going to get through this. As I need to fast forward into 22 chapters, we're in the book of <clears throat> we're in the book of, of Isaiah now. We're in the book of Isaiah now, but Joe and, and Joshua now. But God told me to tell us to move forward. Nine more chapters, 22 more chapters. Fast forward into the Old Testament, the book of Joel. Second chapter. It says, "When the farmers," 21st verse. They had lost everything. Somebody this year is on the verge of losing everything. Had lost everything. The first chapter says, tell someone, tell someone to turn the page. I want you to tell someone to turn the next page. 21, he says, fear not. Old land, be glad. And rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Somebody holler out great things. Great things coming my way. Great things coming your way. For the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, ye beast of the field that has eaten, that the canker worms has eaten, the caterpillars and the palmer worm. My great army which I sent among you, and they shall... This is a promise, the 26th verse says, and they shall eat in plenty. God told me to tell somebody, get ready. We're going to eat in plenty. We're going to eat better in 2021. Be satisfied and, and, and praise the name of the Lord, your God, that have dealt wondrously with you 
and my people shall never be ashamed. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I, the Lord, your God, none else, my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Aren't you glad that God is not prejudiced? Huh? Aren't you glad that God has no particular party that he decides to take and work with? That he's all around. And even, even, those, that, even those that we feel should get thrown under the bus, as long as there's breath in your body, it is an opportunity to ask for forgiveness. And who are we to judge? I'm so glad that his grace and mercy found me another chance, another opportunity. It says that, it says that your, dozen, your daughters and your sons shall prophesy. The old man shall dream dreams and your young men shall see vision. Where do you see yourself in 2021? And also the service upon the handmaid in those days will I pour out my spirit. I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth. The blood, the fire, and the pillars. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into the blood. But before the great and the troubling day of the Lord comes, and it will come to pass that whosoever call on the name of the Lord, whosoever call on the name of the Lord, whosoever call on the name of the Lord, this is a promise. Whosoever call on the name of the Lord, the Bible says, I need you, Curtis. Yes. Whosoever call on the name of the Lord, whosoever call on the name of the Lord, whosoever call on the name of the Lord, stop me out and see. Whosoever call on the name of the Lord. It's still some more. <laughs> Whosoever call on the name of the Lord. It says that he shall be delivered. For in the Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall deliverance come. As the Lord has said. And the raiment from whom the Lord shall call. In Philippians 3, 13 through 16. It says, brethren, I counted not all myself to have apprehended, but this one thing that I do, forgetting, forgetting, forgetting forth unto the things which are before me. But this is what it said, 2021, I'm going to encourage everybody. That 14 verse says, I press forth the mark. For the prize of the I'm so glad God gave me another opportunity. I'm so glad that he's a forgiving God. No matter what you say about him. No matter what you do to him. Come on, come on. He'll give you another chance. In the book of Ephesians 4.32, he says, And be ye kind to one another. And be ye kind to one another. I'm going to say that again. And be ye kind to one another. Tenderhearted. Forgiving one another. Even as God... Uh, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. Come on, don't let, don't, don't you get left behind. Come on, don't get left behind. With foolishness. Don't get left behind by being stubborn. Don't get left behind about talking about folks. Sticks and stones may break my bones. Y'all know what we used to say, but words will never hurt me. Hey, we're in the days now. It look like that we're drunk now. But come on, we're coming on out of this. Hey, don't allow somebody to upset you. Don't allow somebody to make you get off your square. John, 1 John, in that book of John, 1 John, it says, 4 and 1, it says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether they are of God, because many are fake and phony. Where do we get that saying from, fake and phony? Anyway, moving on, many are fake and phony prophets, and they are going out into the world. But hereby ye know, hereby ye understand that the Spirit of God, every spirit that confesses that God is Jesus Christ and has come from the flesh of God, every spirit that confesses not 
Jesus said that he's coming to the flesh. And when he comes into the flesh, I'm getting ready to move up a little higher. Hey, hey. I come in the flesh. It's not of God. But in this, that the spirit of the Antichrist, whereof ye have heard, whereof ye have heard, that it should come even now already into this world. Ye are the children of God. Ye are the children of God. Ye are the people of God and have overcome them. But because greater is he that's in me, greater is he that's in you, that he that's in the world. Come on, I'm getting ready to close it out now. 2020 started out real good the first three months, but then a huge monkey wrench came off and thrown off into the gears in that third month. Everything came to a pause. Anybody know what I'm talking about? When everything started being shut down, it has been not only a disappointing year, but it's been a damaging year. Lost our jobs, schools closing, the doors of the church closing, the death angel visiting thousands of people. Hey, I feel my help now. Sometimes I get a little stuck, but I, when I start and thinking of the goodness of Jesus, hey, things wasn't going the way that I had planned. I look for 2020 to be bigger, brighter, and better, but we're still here serving him. Everybody under the sound of my voice that wants to get on board a new beginning. Come on, come on. Mama Tim's that went home to be with the Lord, but her favorite song was Get Right Church and Let's Go Home. Come on. So I'm inviting everybody under the sound of my voice. Stop pressing your way. Stop pushing your way toward the promise. Hey, here we go. The express greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get on board. I'm inviting you to get on board. Hey, can we start all over again? Yes, you can. Hey, hey, it's right around the corner. 2021, great expectations. That's the express train. Hey, pressing your way towards the promise. That's another train. Greater expectations. Greater expectations. Who needs up to the side of my voice? Greater expectations. I need God to do something greater for me. 2021, just start counting down. Five more days. Five to number five means grace. Anybody needs his grace and mercy brought me through. I'm living this moment all because of you. He didn't bring us this far. Believe us now. Amazing grace. How sweet the time that says a wretch like me with my low down self. Like me with my ugly ways. Like me with my stingy ways. But he licked, hit me up. He turned me around. He placed my feet on solid ground. Thanking God for another chance. Thanking God for another opportunity. Hey, hey. Thousands of people are sick. Millions of people are sick. But I'm here one more time in the land of the living. Thanking God for keeping me one more day. Thanking God for allowing me one more day. Who am I talking to here on today? This last Sunday in 2020. Come on, hey, get on board. All aboard, all aboard. Because when the doors close, when the doors close and the train has pulled off from the depot, it's over. But Mama Tim would always say, back, 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 train. Hey, I'm so glad that the train, the conductor, he controls how fast he controls when to stop. I'm so glad that Jesus is the conductor. I'm so glad that Jesus is the pilot. Hey, hey, his grace and his mercy brought us safe this far. He didn't bring us this far to leave us now. Back, back, train, and pick up your load. Back, back, train, hey, hey, it was his grace and his mercy. Hey, Chef Ptolemy, not telling that, but all. Oh. Hey, all, 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 as long as it's breath in your body. His grace and his mercy shall follow me all. Oh. We shall, hey, we shall dwell in the house. We shall dwell in the house. I'm not 
talking about the White House. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord, the heavenly host. Hey, the heavenly host. Sit at his feet and be blessed. Greater expectations. Greater expectations. It's only five more days. Right around the corner. Who know what the number five signifies? Grace. His grace. Won't he do it? He didn't bring us this far to leave us now. Hold on. Hold on. His amazing grace. How sweet the sound. That saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, spiritually so, and physically so. But he seemed fit. Spiritual blind is those of you that wear glasses and know what I'm talking about. It's when your eyes are blurry. You can't see the small print. So you go do something about it. Do you not? Why? Because you want to see clear. Do you not? Only you can do something about it. They can have all the obstetricians that there is, but until you get up and go, that someone that has practiced, and they say practicing because they don't get it right all the time. They give you one prescription and you say, no, nah, this isn't working. All the machinery and, and the technology that they have, they don't get it right all the time. So you go back and you get another exam. Now I can see clearly now. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but somebody needs to go back to the obstetrician and get another exam. That's where his grace and mercy comes in. 2020, oh my God. Where my survivors at? Where my survivors at? If it had not been for the Lord on our side tell us where would we be, oh, where would we be? He kept my enemies away. He let the sun shine through a cloudy day. He rocked me just like a little old baby. <laughs> Mamas, you know what I'm talking about. When your baby start crying, what you do? You pick them up and start hugging, caressing them, kissing them. Don't cry mama's little baby. In the cradle of his love, then he knew I had been battered, beaten up by the storm. So if it had not been for the Lord on my side, oh, tell me where, tell me where, can you tell me where would you be? Oh, where would you be? If you do not know the Lord in the pardons of your sin, I offer Christ to you this last Sunday in 2020. The last Sunday in 2020. We have done thousands. The funeral home that I, I'm affiliated with, quite a few of the funeral homes, uh, we do work with them. And it's always somebody that overflowed you all with those that went home to be with the Lord. It's a reality. More so now than ever before. It's going back even further than I forgot when that other, the heat wave that came in all of the thousands of people that they had to bring in freezer trucks to store them at the medical examining office. But we're still here. We're still here. We're 
still can. If you have not been tested, go get tested just to be on the safe side. Nothing is guaranteed but death. That's guaranteed. But I want to prolong it as long as I can. And I want to make sure that I'm doing, trying to do the right thing in order to stay around a little bit longer. <laughs> he promised us, he promised us. And then I don't know, it's questionable as well too. When you read the Bible, it's different interpretations. He said three scores and 10, that's the age of 70. I said by reason, four scores, which is 80. But I know a lot of people that's past 80, Dad. <laughs> Ella Moon, I know a lot of folks past 80. And they're mighty proud of it as well, too. Got their health and their strength, huh? Might not, have, might not be as strong, might not be Superman or Superwoman as strong as they used to be, but I'm still here. Able to do for myself. Wow. Able to accomplish some things. That shows you that something right that you have been doing. And God says, not yet. Not yet. 2021 is going to be greater. Just hold on and get to the other side. The children of Israel had to go through all these struggles. A lot of them were lost along the way because of their mumbling, because of their complaining. But we're going to make it to the other side. Trinity, we're going to make it to the other side. Juliet holler now, Tyler not when the rope break, put a knot off in the rope and then it just helps you hold on a little bit longer. That's just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Listen up for our announcements. I'll be back to close this out. Thank you for sharing this hour with Trinity. I am sure that you were blessed by all that you heard on today. And to, a, to be a blessing to this ministry, you can send your tithes, your offerings, and your donations to Trinity by way of Givelify, that's searching Trinity All Nation Church. You can send it by Zell, that's info at T-A-L-L-N dot org. You can send it by Cash App, that's dollar sign T-A-L-L-N-1. You may also drop it off in person or mail it to Trinity All Nations Church. That's 9600 South Vincent Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60643. And then social media family, you are invited to leave 2020 behind as we rejoice going into 2021. The mighty men of God shared why Jesus is the reason for the season via the Christmas of Hope virtual celebration on Christmas Day. Well, they will be back to usher in the new year 2021. And you do not want to miss this New Year's Eve virtual celebration theme, the new normal. But God is the same. Keep looking forward. We have Bishop Dave A. Jordan from First Holy Zion Missionary Baptist Church. We have Pastor Naaman William from Bread of Life Church of God in Christ. We have Pastor Donald Smith from Holy Jerusalem Missionary Baptist Church. And then we have our own Bishop Larry Roberts Sr. right here from Trinity All Nations. Won't you tune in right here on Facebook? That's this Friday, December 31st at 9.55 p.m. Find out what God has commissioned them to impart into us, to bring us into 2021 on a blast. Now closing us out will be our own Bishop Barry Roberts Sr. song that you was listening at that asked a question everybody standing says are you ready are you ready for the coming of the Lord be ye also ready if you know not today when the Lord shall come when the Lord shall come will you be ready 1980 we released that and it's still prevalent right now three words are you ready to cross over to the other side of this pandemic. No man knows the date nor the hour. But will you be ready? Will you be ready? 
I speak peace offering into your life. Isaiah 26 and 3 says, I'll keep you in whose mind. I speak blessings of prosperity. I speak healing. I speak deliverance. I speak bye-bye to 2020. And hello, bright sunshine, 2021. Hey, I speak that you should not die, but live on to declare the works of the Lord. Repeat this after me. I have a new attitude. I have a new direction. I have a new vision. I endeavor to expand my horizon, 2021. Aim for the stars, 2021. And shoot for the moon, 2021. And start pulling out everything. God got some more. <laughs> Come on, he got enough for everybody. Stop pulling it down, pull it, pull it, pull it down. Hey, everything that you need, that you want from God to pull it. Pull it on down. Pull it on down. Hey. Oh, let the Holy Ghost come on down. Say, neighbor, I'm glad to see you here. I'm glad that you're viewing in. But I'm here to let you know you had nothing to do with waking yourself up this morning. But I'm here to tell you the reason that you woke up, the reason that you're viewing, the reason that you got breath in your body. It's the Lord's doing. It's the Lord's doing. Even if you've been in the hospital, it's the Lord's doing. He got the doctors. He's the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous. Somebody help me holler out. Marvelous. Hey. Marvelous. Hey. It might not have gone the way that I wanted it to go. 2020. But marvelous is all the way. Hey. 2021. You my dad, it's all the way, hey, it's all the way, all the way. God made the grace our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, rest you and abide with us forever, forever. Hey, amen, amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say, bye bye, heartache, bye bye, struggles. See ya, hey. That I'm on my way to a brand new beginning. I'm on my way to a new start. I'm on my way. Hey, get up and start walking. Get up and start walking. Talk to yourself. It might think you're crazy, but that's okay. I'm going to talk to myself. I'm going to encourage myself. I can make it through the trouble. I can make it through the storm. I can make it through the heartache. I can make it. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. As long as you keep the Lord on your path, as long as you keep God first, hey, may the Lord bless you real good. Yeah, hey, 2021's on the way. <laughs> yeah.